Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you my efforts to attract more birds and wildlife in general to my garden. Over the last few years I've been experimenting with different kinds of bird feed to attract birds to the garden. With pretty good success. I've seen many different species such as free sparrows, goldfinches, great spotted woodpeckers, greenfinches, chaffinches and the latest addition was a dunnock. I spotted while working in my office the other day, just to mention a few of the species that come by regularly at the tree, but I've been wondering lately if a water feature would draw in even more birds, and maybe even some mammals. So last summer during a drought, I set up a small water feature and observed with a trail camera what happened. On the very first day of setting up what was essentially a bird bath, one of the summer's magpie chicks showed up, quickly followed by its little brother. These two was actually born and raised right here in the garden. The nest was up in the top of the tree where we have the bird feeding area under. It was quite a joy to watch them grow up over the summer. The next day, uh, a tree sparrow came by. And then a house sparrow. These three species would pretty much make up the majority of the visits over the month that we tried this setup. On the third day, the first blackbird showed up for a morning drink and a quick bath. We even started to get small groups of sparrows coming in at the same time, which really added to the feeling of a lively garden. Then the first great tits showed up. These birds are already a daily visitor at the bird feeders, so I wasn't too surprised at seeing them. On the night of the third day, we saw our first hedgehog walk by. It didn't have a drink, but it was nice to see it in the garden as it is proof the ecosystem is improving around here. The next few days there were plenty of visitors, but no new species showed up at the water. But it was still early in the test, so plenty of time for more to show up. Also at this time I switched out the trail cam for a better one, and the first thing it caught was the neighborhood's biggest predator, the neighbor's cat. About a weekend, we finally got an the common wood pigeon, who is famous for being pretty dumb, but apparently smart enough to notice the camera and then trigger it over and over again, even looking straight at the camera. But in between the photo bombings of the pigeon, we got to see the magpie chicks grow up as they became a regular at the bath, which I think is pretty cool. As time went on, the sparrow flocks grew in size but none of the species showed up. In the end, about 50 birds would show up over the course of a day, which seems pretty decent. Now knowing that even just a glorified puddle will attract quite a large amount of wildlife, I tested if the sound of running water would increase the amount of animals that would get attracted. So I set up a larger pot with river rocks and a small solar powered fountain. In hindsight, I should probably have added a log or something for the birds to sit on, but hey, it's just a test. The first animal captured by the camera was of course the neighbor's bastard of a cat. I would love to find a way to keep him out, but that is probably a futile task. But after a few days, the first flock of sparrows returned. So already an improvement, before it took a long while before they showed up in any large numbers. I do love how they just disappear in the long grass, it adds an element of discovery to the garden. A few days later, one of the magpies finally showed up again. Apparently they didn't really like the changes and stayed away for a while. And so time went, and over the next week the camera pretty much only captured sparrows and a single great tit, and that's pretty much it. So after a while I decided to end the experiment, as the summer was ending too and the amount of sunshine was greatly diminished. So in the end, it seems like the non-flowing water was the better option, which had more wildlife. I'm also surprised over how few species we saw. As for my office, I spot many more species which sit in a tree right behind the camera. But perhaps they just need a bigger water feature, like a pond with branches hanging over with them before they will approach. But that will have to wait until next spring before I can build. That's gonna have to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.